Hey there everybody, P. Pardo here. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea Tranquility. Yes, it's Wednesday. Wednesday is the day. New product reviews, new album reviews, I should say, but it could be anything really that we talk about. It could be some kind of cool music book. It could be a DVD or Blu-ray that's come out. In most cases, it's usually an album or CD. So today, long-awaited release from founding member and guitar player K.K. Downing of Judas Priest. K.K.'s Priest... Sermons of the Sinner. It's been a while since we heard from KK, right? Been quite a long time. Supposedly uh, left Judas Priest, was going to retire, done with music for a while. But I guess, you know, heavy metal kept pulling him back. And he kind of saw all of the success that his former band was, was having. And from what you read, uh, he probably wanted to come back to the band once uh, Glenn Kipt Tipton uh, got sick, but uh, that was not to be. So he said, screw it, I'm just going to start up my own band. And that he did. Along with former Judas Priest belter Tim Ripper Owens, of course, who has also sang for Iced Earth, and Ingve Malmsteen, and Spirits of Fire, and all sorts of other projects and things. Uh, originally, part of this band also was classic 70s Judas Priest drummer Les Binks. Uh, but he had some sort of a hand affliction or whatever, which forced him to not be able to take part in the recording of this album. Uh, from what I have read, uh, that does not discount him from playing live with the band at some point. So hopefully we'll see less, maybe showing up at some shows on the road. Who knows at this point? But for the album, along with KK and Ripper, we've got A.J. Mills on co-lead guitar. We have Tony Newton on bass and Sean Elg on drums. Sean, uh, of course, plays with Cage. So, uh, Cage, I should say, not Cage. So there you have it. So Sermons of the Sinner is the album. This is on uh, XL Records. So take a look here. All right, there's the little digit pack, digit sleeve, what have you. Here is the booklet. Pretty cool album cover. I'm not 100% sure I'm sold on the name of the band. I'm not, you know, I think K.K. Downing has uh, a big enough name out there in the metal world that I think uh, if he would have stayed away from anything sounding priest-ish, I think this would still get a lot of attention. Unfortunately, he, uh, or fortunately, whatever, however you feel about it. I mean, I know he's a founding member of Judas Priest, so I guess he's entitled, uh, but it is K.K.'s Priest. There are the guys in the band right there. All right, sorry we got that little late afternoon sun here. A little, little glare coming through the blinds. So how was the album, you might ask? Well, okay, we've got uh, how many tracks on here? It's about, I think, about 10 tracks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 tracks in all. Uh, let me just give you a little bit of uh, additional information here. Uh, produced by KK, mixed by Tony Newton and KK, engineered by Tony Newton and Anthony Wall, uh, mastered by Aid Elmsley at Table of Tone Mastering. Pretty good sounding album, I think. Pretty good sounding album. It is definitely a throwback album to perhaps uh, Screamin' for Vengeance, Circa Painkiller, Circa Jugulator style of Judas Priest, right? So it's got a, it's got a hefty 80s vibe to it, along with some of the more kind of fast and furious Judas Priest of the 90s. All right. Got Tim Ripper Owens, right? So you know what you're you're going to expect vocal-wise. I will say, you know, I, I went into this album with kind of medium expectations. And there was a lot of people who were, you know, getting a hold of early streams and things of this album before it actually came out. A couple of songs were released beforehand. And I saw all sorts of things. I mean, you know, the best pre Priest album that Priest hasn't done in like 20 years to, oh, this album is terrible. It's, the lyrics are horrible. It sounds like a rehash of everything KK's done before to best, you know, heavy metal album of 2021. All sorts of things all across the map. I try not to listen to a lot of that stuff because I think, you know what, I want to hear it for myself because only I can judge what these ears are going to hear and what I read, what other people say doesn't really matter in the end. So 
got the CD, you know, about a week or so, a week and a half ago, whatever it was. Uh, I've listened to it quite a few times already. And I think the first time or two, I was like, yeah, this is okay. Pretty good. Yeah, it's a very kind of cliche driven release. Uh, you you kind of knew what you, you knew that going in here. But I will say the songs for, you know, just good 80s, 90s kind of influenced heavy metal. Uh, it's pretty damn good. It's fun. That's what it's all about, right? I mean, you know, KK is like, you know, KK could have gone back to the 70s, the, the priest sound from the 70s. I, I think he's more drawn from, you know, priest from the 80s, like I said, with a little bit of that early 90s, uh, you know, the real aggressive Judas Priest of that era. I think it's fun. You know, Tim Ripper Owens, He's either doing one of two things. He's either sitting at that mid-range, which I kind of like him at, or he's doing those, you know, high-level upper register shrieks, shrieks, which for my money in a few spots, he does a little bit too much of that. I don't mind it when he when he uses that occasionally. Like the first couple tracks, like you got uh, Incarnation and Hellfire Thunderbolt. I think he's shrieking a little bit too much, a little bit here and there. The song's still pretty good. The riffs are good. Solos are really good. I mean, KK sounds amazing. Uh, and uh, AJ, fine player. In fact, he's a really good player, actually. But most of this album, you know, is kind of what you would expect. And then, you know what? That's okay. Uh, I don't hear any rehashed riffing here, which is really good. Um, a f few of the songs take a little while to kind of sink in. You know, there's, there's a couple of tracks that are kind of like... You know, kind of by the numbers metal, but the stuff that's really good here I really like a lot. Sermon of the Sinner, the title track, sort of the title track, there's no S on sermons. I like that, that's really good. Uh, you got Sacerdote e Diablo, really fast-paced, crunchy song. I like that. I like I like Ripper's kind of mid-paced vocals on a lot of this album. When he kind of settles into that style, I think it works really, really well. When he's just shrieking just to shriek, you know, even Halford doesn't shriek just to shriek. So I think, you know, when, when Ripper is doing it, it's just kind of like, all right, just let's tone it down just a little bit. Uh, what else here? Uh, Raise Your Fist is terrific. Again, some of these song titles are like, all right, you know, whatever, guys. But Raise Your Fist has some great riffing going on. Nice, like, harmony guitars. Really like that a lot. Uh, Brothers of the Road, more of like kind of like you're just kind of mid-paced, anthemic metal that's okay nothing spectacular uh metal through and through again song titles some of the lyrics yeah they border on cheese at times but you know what metal through and through is another good headbanging track i like it for me the best part of the album are the last three songs uh you got wild and free really good nice mood to that song nice atmosphere to that song but still good headbanging fun and then uh hail for the priest and Return of the Sentinel are great. Those are my two favorites on the whole album. Return of the Sentinel is, Re Sentinel is terrific. And again, kind of a return, the Sentinel. We remember the Sentinel, one of the great Judas Priest songs of the 80s. Amazing. And Hail for the Priest is really, really cool. Like I said, it's kind of kind of doomy in Scott spots, kind of mid-paced, but then it picks up the speed and just delivers lots of fiery guitar solos, lots of cool riffing. I don't know. I like the album. It's fun. Is it breaking any new ground? Is this going to change the history of heavy metal? Absolutely not. Uh, you know, stacking this up against Priest's Firepower, eh, I still like Firepower best of the two. But this is really cool. I think this is, may even be a little bit better than I expected it would be. That's okay. That's okay. It's a fun heavy metal album here in 2021. And, uh, and that's kind of all, you know, that we really can expect. And, you know, Ward has it already that they're already writing stuff for a follow-up. And uh, apparently it's going to be a little more collaborative, which would be pretty cool, right? But this is good. So if if maybe the next album has all of them taking part a little bit more in the arranging and the songwriting, hey, maybe even better. But as it stands, this is pretty good. I, I'd say if I was going to rate this normally on CA Tranquility, we rate 1 to 5 or 0 to 5, I should say, 5 being absolutely perfect. I would say this is a pretty solid 3.5, maybe 4. Uh, right now I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. I like it. I think it's really good. It's really fun. like the guitar work a lot. Uh, I like Ripper's vocals for the most part. Some really good riffing on here. Really good soloing. 
not crazy about the lyrics, but you know, it is what it is. I mean, uh, I, not that well, I'm not much of a lyric guy, but even for me, this at times borders on you know, kind of. All right, we've kind of heard these themes before from KKN Priest and various other bands like Man of War, so on and so forth. So, but that's okay. I will forgive him for that because to me. I usually rate a heavy metal album based on, you know, headbanging fun. And there's a lot of it going on here. So, yeah, KK's Priest, Sermons of the Sinner. I like it. Really solid. I'm sure it'll grow on me even more. And uh, it'd be interesting to see them if they ever come to North America, play some live dates. I'd go check them out to hear some of these songs live, as well as some Priest classics. Why not? I support KK. I, you know, hey, he's a founding member of Judas Priest, so... Uh, that means something. He's a legend in my eyes. So uh, there you have it. There's your review for Sermons of the Sinner, KK's Priest. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content. We've got the link to our Ko-Fi page. If you want to make a channel donation as well as the link to our merch page below where you can get all sorts of cool Sea of Tranquility merchandise and shirts and things. This is our brand new Sea of Tranquility in the Prague Seat mixtape challenge shirt. This is, uh, of course, the Prague one. We've got one for metal. In fact, you've got the Stained Class from Judas Priest is on the metal one alongside some other metal classics. They have to be my favorite favorite albums, but since I'm the boss, that's what I pick. Um, and uh, we have also have the link to our webzine of seatranquility.org, which has been on the internet now for 20 years here in 2021. So thanks for watching. I am Pete Pardo. Stay tuned for more new album reviews here on the channel. And uh, till then, see you real soon. Bye-bye.